the most significant discussion in this context is the contrast between two seasons understood. So Allah is saying that you must learn to differentiate between things that are not equal and that the yardstick, the constitutional foundation for your judgment must be what is with God and what is not with God. But yet here the contrast is between two seas, both that are beneficial. And the most remarkable aspect about this is that Muslim theologians then point out that while Allah, as Allah will, will say in shortly, that darkness and light are not equal, but Even in good and evil, or even in judging what is with God or what is not with God, you must learn to understand that there are gradations. Because sometimes, even what is not with God yields some good, like the salt sea. And the night and day, if you look at the night and day from a, a distant perspective, each is contingent on the other, and each moves in gradations into the other. From this, there are a lot of, there are a lot of moral lessons about patience, that if you approach a salt sea, you cannot wish it to become freshwater sea. If you want to turn salt water into fresh water, it will take a lot of effort and a lot of patience. Um, that you cannot approach the salt sea and condemn, as one of my favorite passages, is that a, a person who condemns the salt sea as evil is a fool and therefore refuses to deal with the salt sea as is a fool. Because yet there is things that are good within the salt sea. So we are invited on the one hand to a recognition that, there, that the demonic does have a party and there are things that are clearly in the side of the demonic, but at the same time, we are told to be discerning and non-dogmatic in our judgment. Because if we look at the salt sea and condemn the salt sea, and therefore are unable to extract what is good from the salt sea, we have become exactly that, dogmatic in our judgment. And if we lose sight of the fact that the night and day exchange roles in gradations, we lose a great deal of wisdom. So it is not, it's often, it, it, it's a simple point, but at the same time a profound one, is that the true alim, the true scholar, will look at the night and see in the night the potential of the day and look at the day and fear the way that the day can descend into the night. A true scholar would look at the night and tell, call upon people how to come out of the night and emerge into a day. And a true scholar if they exist during the day, would warn the people about the coming of the night. Note that in both cases, as we will see in Surah Fatr, 
the role of the scholar is to speak openly and bravely, not to affirm delusions of people, but if they exist in the night, to tell them you exist in darkness and a day is possible and here's what we need to do to emerge into the light. And if they exist in light, to tell them you do exist in light, thank God, alhamdulillah, but here are the warnings of what could happen that would make the night, the, the day descend into night.